It's official. Elon Musk introduced his genius master plan part 3 on Investor Day and unveiled how Tesla will transition from an electric vehicle manufacturer to a global energy company within a few years. As the world is transitioning away from fossil fuels, Elon Musk is positioning his company as the architect and supplier of a sustainable energy economy. Expanding the company's activities from electric self-driving cars, artificial intelligence and humanoid robots into the billion-dollar energy sector, Tesla has the potential to become the most valuable company in the world by even overtaking Apple. But Elon Musk gave also a glimpse into his next-gen electric vehicle in his master plan and how he wants to scale Tesla's EV business to extreme size, shifting the planet's entire energy infrastructure to a sustainable, abundant future, Musk said. How does he want to do that? Join us today as we uncover Elon Musk's bold but genius master plan to transition Tesla into a global player in energy and so the most valuable and most important company of our time. In 2016, Tesla achieved, contrary to all beliefs, all the goals of Elon Musk's master plan part one, setting the foundation of Tesla's groundbreaking success today by disrupting the entire auto industry. That's when the second master plan, part 2, was announced, which emphasized the expansion of the entire vehicle product line to address all major segments, as well as to focus on solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage and developing self-driving capability, and a system that allows users to rent out their cars while not using them. Even though part 2 still hasn't hit all the points, it matured enough for Elon Musk to introduce his next big play to skyrocket his company to the next level. In a typical Elon Musk fashion, Part 3 sets huge goals for his company, quote, shifting the entire energy and transport infrastructure in the world. So the master plan Part 3 is all about scaling Tesla to extreme size in order to shift humanity completely away from fossil fuels. Therefore, a total investment of $10 trillion in manufacturing facilities is required, while $7 trillion is needed to switch the world's transportation infrastructure to fully electric. But how does Elon plan to do that? Tesla has built 4 million electric vehicles since its inception, which is a huge milestone announced on Investor Day. The growth accelerates and gains exponential momentum. Building the first million EVs took 12 years, while the latest million took less than 7 months. Impressive achievements by Tesla, but in order to shift global transportation infrastructure, Tesla aims to build 25 million vehicles per year. Insane numbers! Eight vehicles from Tesla's fleet are introduced to tackle this mission. The already known best-selling four sexy models, the Tesla Semi, designed to take over the multi-million dollar long-haul trucking industry and the long-awaited Cybertruck. Tesla confirmed deliveries in 2023 of the world's most anticipated car, which is sold out until 2027 with an absurd 1.7 million pre-orders. Two new cars remain unrevealed, while one of them appealed as a bigger van type with the potential of being Tesla's robo-taxi of the future mentioned many times in this event. And the second one is the next-gen vehicle, which will also be the most affordable and revolutionary car of its product line. Tesla gave some more insights on this car with an estimated cost between $20,000 to $25,000. How is this even possible? Rethinking manufacturing is part of the master plan by vertically integrating the manufacturing process into the design learn from all the lessons of previous models. Therefore, the next-gen vehicle will be designed thoroughly to easily and cost-efficiently assemble on an extremely high scale by reducing overall cost by 50%. New manufacturing processes will be integrated where multiple persons and robots can work simultaneously on one single car, improving space-time efficiency and operator density. A new, more efficient powertrain will be deployed in the next-gen vehicle, promising to be faster, lighter, cheaper, more efficient and smaller without compromising on performance. The cost will be reduced massively as well as no rare earth materials are used but a permanent magnet. Allowing any battery chemistry to power the drive unit increases deployment flexibility. The next-gen Tesla model will be built in a new gigafactory in Mexico. Smart move by Tesla, as Mexico has an already existing strong automotive industry with lots of cheap labor and perfectly located. Cheap labor required to produce the most affordable electric car for $25,000 and make it easier for people to jump out of fossil fuels. 
Ultimately, a total of 115 terawatt hours in battery storage is required to switch the global transportation infrastructure to electric cars. How is it even possible to reach these numbers? This brings us to the second part of Elon Musk's master plan. For the last few years, Elon Musk established some serious partnerships around the world with big battery suppliers like Panasonic and CATL. These companies have invested billions in new production facilities to meet rising battery demand for the industry. And Tesla will get a big piece of the pie as a reliable long-term partner. These batteries are going to be the most valuable resource as Elon Musk calls it the new oil. In addition, Elon Musk has also forged serious relationships with government and industry leaders in countries like Mexico, where he already announced a new gigafactory, but also Indonesia and Canada countries rich in lithium with accessible mines and processing facilities, while Indonesia has huge nickel reserves as well. Both minerals are integral to batteries, but the mining industry is lagging behind and slowing down the development. Elon Musk has already complained about this many times before. So, in order to achieve extreme scale, Tesla needs access to those resources. For this reason, Tesla announced going into extraction and refinery of raw material lithium itself. A new refinery in Corpus Christi by Tesla will start operation in 2023 with a lithium anode and cathode materials output of 50 gigawatt hours in batteries per year. An output Tesla needs to shift the entire energy infrastructure of the world. Because Tesla is not only an electric car manufacturer, but also an energy company as it builds large-scale batteries called Megapacks. These Megapacks provide an energy storage solution to stabilize the grid and prevent blackouts. Energy is essential, so typical customers are countries and energy operators worldwide transitioning into green sustainable energy and paying millions to install Tesla's storage systems. Tesla describes the product that retires fossil fuels as the most energy-dense solution on the market, two times higher than a typical gas peaker plant. Easy installation and integration for all grids around the world, as well as its endless scalability, as all Megapacks can work together like one unit, make it a desirable product. And the numbers speak for itself. The Megapacks are sold out through the end of 2024, so Tesla had even to build a Megapack factory in Lathrop, California, with a yearly output of 10,000 Megapacks just to meet demand. While the price of one Megapack is about $2.6 million, the revenue of the Megapacks alone is an insane $260 billion per year. With Tesla's cost-effective factories, profit margins are about 50%, so the company earns $130 billion just with that one product alone every single year. And this is only the beginning. The demand for these batteries will rise exponentially in the coming years as we are facing towards a green sustainable economy powered by renewables. Tesla targets to reach 1 terawatt hours of battery storage production annually. Rough estimates claim that the world needs 24 terawatt hours of stationary battery storage to transition the world into a fully green sustainable economy. But Tesla will not only build and supply the mega packs, but also provide the software solution to run a smart sustainable power grid. Therefore, Tesla deploys software solutions it already used for home users before. Private individuals owning a solar roof and a Tesla Powerwall can strengthen the grid by selling excess energy to the grid or providing a storage service. Together with large-scale battery parks, this system would decentralize and distribute energy storage in an economy entirely powered by renewables. Tesla could become a global player in energy distribution with their autonomous energy trading platform called Autobid, buying energy low and selling high while the battery owner gets the profit, providing a storage solution to the grid. Finally, there is AI. Elon Musk presented also some improvements on the Tesla bot, which is also a part of the master plan. Even if the Tesla bot doesn't do parkour, you can see it walk around and screw on another robot, which is a remarkable improvement since AI Day in 2022. Huge advancements on Tesla's AI capabilities by upgrading computational power and storage with the Dojo supercomputer will enhance full self-driving. The same AI of self-driving cars will breathe life into Optimus. Elon Musk envisions the Tesla bot ultimately being the workhorse of his factories, which should, together with renewables, ensure a sustainable future of abundance where physical work will only be a choice. And if his master plan works out, these robots will be sent to Mars to colonize the red planet, whereas his Cybertrucks will serve as the ultimate Mars rover. 
th 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 this is really the, the main message of today. And I really want today to be not just about Tesla investors who own stock, but uh, really anyone who is an investor in Earth. And what we're trying to convey is a message of hope and optimism. Uh, optimism that is based on, on actual physics and, and, and real calculations, not, it's not wishful thinking. Uh, both can and will move to a sustainable energy economy and will do so in your lifetime. Thank you.